welcome to the Cap Guy Show, starring JT and the Cap Guy. Now here's the Cap Guy. Good morning, folks. It's time for the Cap Guy Show. I can see where this is going already. Get her done. Get her done. Get this hat off me. Get her done. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, between you and Chuck, what's up, Chuck? What's up, Chuck? Anyway, yeah. Yeah, we had fun last night, didn't we? I'm sure it did. Uh, should we get back to what we're doing? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. First, we want to say good morning to Stormy, who turns eight today. And uh, here you go. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Stormy, happy birthday to you. I hope you have a great day, and uh, Grandma Tanya, Nana, said it was your birthday, so anyway, yeah, anyway, you know, it's time for the Cap Guy Show. Oh, wait a minute, there's some jokes in here. You got jokes today? Yeah. 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 That's what I said. All right. Go ahead. What did Tarzan say when he saw the elephants coming over the hill? I don't know. What did he say? Here come the elephants over the hill. <laughs> I mean, what would you say? I mean, like, uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, me too. Me too. And, uh, and by the way, I'm not going surfing or snorkeling or any of that stuff you told him last night. I heard you. Well, why didn't you answer? Because I had my mouth full of Alyssa's cookies. Anyway, they're pretty good. And then I had Doritos after that. Why did I have Doritos after I ate cookies? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you got another joke? Yep. What would you get if you crossed a chicken with a mild-mannered reporter? I don't know. Chuck Kent. Cluck Kent. Cluck Kent, not Chuck. <laughs> Yeah, we messed that up, didn't we? Because we had Chuck on the brain. Because uh, we're getting cheese curves from Marcy and Chuck. Uh, no, I'm getting cheese curves from Marcy and Chuck. Oh, you're not going to share? You're going to be like that one-way street, you? Yeah, they got streets named after you. One way. Yeah. Well, anyway, Cap Guy had 10 sales. And, uh, yep, one of them was a resale on a return. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get in with that. And then you lost some money on a... Lost shipment from the weather delays. And uh, you're going to talk about that too, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, we better get on with it. You know what to do. And some of you don't. You, Yeah, keep being ugly. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Yep, I had 10 sales. Um, I'm going to show you one on the uh, screen. And we'll do that right now. All right, this is the only sale that I've already packaged and shipped. It shipped or uh, sold yesterday morning, so I hadn't been to the post office. I decided to get it out. This is a rock tumbler by Rolling Stones. No, not the band. And um, number 635, and it had everything with it. The only problem was the cylinder that spins would spin and then stick because it had been damaged. I did disclose that. That's why it sold for a lower amount. I've had it for quite a while. Um, based on weight, I paid about two seventy six at sixty nine cents a pound. This weighed just over four pounds in the box, so I probably was a little high on that. But uh, there you go. There's the the uh, tumbler, and there's the problem with it. But um, it still worked, and and the machine worked, and had all the accessories and everything, even the manual. Uh, and even some rocks in it. Yeah, MML, how about that? And uh, I don't have any bismuth in there, though. Dang it. Anyway, I ended up sending an offer out when I saw the watcher at $24.99 for $22, plus shipping. And this is going to Canada. Oh, Canada. Okay, never mind. All right. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of the sales. All right, now we're back. And uh, happy birthday, Stormy, by the way. Uh... 10 sales, you saw the one already, and now I'm going to show you the rest. I'm going to show you the rest. I'm going to show you the rest. All right, this is a PC game, third grade 
third grade. Okay, yeah. Third Grade Adventures by Clue Finders um, on PC. I paid uh, 99 cents for this a while back. I just listed it a couple weeks ago, and I sold it for $6.90 plus first class shipping, not media mail. And uh, I'll pop up my profit. The next is Xbox, Tony Hawk's, this original Xbox, Underground 2, and um, I paid... Dun, 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 dun. 214 for this. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong one. A dollar, 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 a dollar for this at that uh, 97 games for $97 sale. And I sold this for 980 plus shipping as well. And I'll pop up my profit. The next is Toy Story 2 on PlayStation 1. It is disc only. I paid 214 in a bundle deal where I bought 68 games for 100 and I think $30, 214 per disc. And I sold that for. $16 with free shipping, and I'll pop up my profit. The next is a sealed copy. I got a Goodwill of Xbox 360 Halo 4. I actually have a few copies of this, but this is the only one that's new and sealed, as you can see. And I paid uh, 202 I sold this for $14.99 plus shipping on top, and I'll pop up my profit. And then the last video game is disc only, too. Xbox 360, Left 4 Dead 2, um, I paid 202 at Goodwill, sold this for $14.50 plus shipping, and I'll pop up my profit. The next is a UPS hat, and it is vintage. It has the old logo. If you look at the new ones, they've got the little almost, it's a different design up here. The old ones had the, looks like a, a ribbon on a package. And uh, this is vintage snapback. And this is blue and white, not the typical brown and white you see at UPS. I paid 75 cents at a yard sale for this last summer. And it finally sold to somebody in South Africa. Yes, South Africa. $38.99 plus shipping, folks. Caps, caps, I'm telling you. I'll pop up my profit. Next are Ed Hardy jeans, and there you go. And they say 3134s, but I always double check the inseam when I'm messing with jeans, and they're actually 3132, 32 and a half. But um, there you go. And they got flaps on the pockets. These are in really good condition. I picked up some jerseys. And clothes really cheap at a yard sale. I was shocked and I wished I'd got there earlier because I would have probably got a lot more good clothes and jerseys. Um, I've made good money off that sale. I paid a uh, dollar for these. One dollar. And I had them for like $27.99. Or I'm sorry, $16.99 plus shipping. And he asked me if I would take 25 free shipping, which basically works out the same. I probably actually make about another dollar. I took the deal. 25, that'll go on a flat rate envelope. And so I'll pop up my profit. The next thing is a return. I actually, this is Double D Ranchware. And it's a company down in Texas. And they have different women's jackets. And this is a really cool, almost like cavalry type uh, blingy jacket. And when I when they bought it originally, it was I sold it for eighty nine ninety nine plus shipping, and the lady contacted me not not in a case. Thank you, lady, for doing that. And she said, "I want this. Uh, we were buying all the jackets back that we can that we've sold off WD Ranchware for whatever reason, and um, this one has been altered. The sleeve has been altered, so I can't use it." And I said, "Okay." And I tried to make her a deal and give her a discount to keep it. But for whatever reason they're doing this, um, she didn't want to do it. So she returned it. I refunded her. And I lost about $8 in the shipping because originally I paid $3 for this on the Highway 75 sale. And um, she returned it. I refunded her money. I relisted it. And I added the length measurement from the shoulder to the end of the sleeve. And I did it at $84.99, $5 off of what it originally was. And guess what? It's sold, and it's going to Canada. So there you go. 
just because something comes back, it, it isn't always your fault and you can always relist it and resell it, which I typically do. So there you go. And uh, I'll pop up my good profit on that. And the last thing I sold, I just picked up recently for 434 Goodwill. It is an Adidas Kevin Durant, Oklahoma City Thunder neon style jersey. Okay. That's just what you want is Kevin Durant to glow. So it's a large. And as you can see, this is a stitched or sewn jersey, meaning the letters are sewn on. They're not screen printed on. And it's a very nice jersey. 434 before Goodwill went crazy. And um, I sold that for $31.99 plus shipping. So 10 sales on the day. Here's my cost of goods. Total sales. And profit, I'll take it. And I'm going to show you two little clips of Goodwill yesterday where I was at on Old Man Discount Day to the point of how ridiculous they've gotten. The first one is going to be of a jersey which has stains on it and the price you're going to see it and it's nowhere near worth this much money. And then the other is a commemorative coin of the commissioning of the USS George W. Bush aircraft carrier. And <laughs> they're like $14, $15 all day long. Uh, of course, I have my own coins of my ships. And uh, guess what? I mean, you're going to see the ridiculousness. So whoever's valuing some of this stuff doesn't know what they're doing. And then, of course, in some cases, they don't know what they're doing on the flip side. And we get good deals. But Goodwill is definitely going away from being a reselling, uh, a reseller's dream, I guess you should say. They're getting stuff for free and they're marking it up just like we do, of course, but to the point of ridiculousness. And even, to be honest, that jersey will not sell for that price even in the store and neither will that coin. So um, anyway, not not complaining, folks. I'm just giving stat facts. So there you go. I hope you have a great day. Stormy, have a great birthday. And the Cat Guy and JT, we will talk to you tomorrow as we always do. We're out. Here's ridiculous. Stained up. Crazy. Here's another one. Probably worth 15 tops, 18, 20. Crazy, crazy.